All right guys, so we're gonna get started with this quick weave wig tutorial. And first you're gonna do is section off your hair so that it can be gelled down. The gel I'm gonna be using is the Eco Styling Gel. I will leave that information in the description box for you guys. And now we're just going to use some plastic wrap. Now this is going to protect your hair from the glue that we're going to use for this wig. Now because my sides are shaved really low, I'm not going to worry too much about them. My main focus is the long hair that I have at the top. All right, now once you have that plastic cap on, you're going to go ahead and take your dome cap and put it on top of that. Now this is also for protecting your hair against the glue. The more protection, the better. Now we're going to start off by using the shorter length of the quick weave hair that I'm going to be using. I like to blow the glue a little bit just to make it a little tacky before I stick it on. And that first piece is going to go as close to the back of that cap as I can get it. It doesn't have to be so close, you got to keep the elasticity of the cap. And then you're going to just keep following the curvature of the head. It doesn't have to be super neat or super straight. Also, when I'm doing the tracks in the back, I do not like to go past the ear with one track because it makes the cap a little tight. And then it makes the wig a little irritating around the ear. So I like to stop at the back of the ear until I get high enough to go to the front of the ear. And once I finish with the shortest length, I'm going to go to the medium length of the hair that I'm going to be using. I will have all of that information in the description box. And basically the medium length I'm going to be using for the top and the bang area for this pixie cut. I'm going to start off with the black and I'm basically just going to alternate between the lightest brown color and the black just to give me the highlight effect. Now make sure as you go, you're kind of combing down with your hands just to kind of place the hair where you like it. And don't forget to blow dry every single track. Now once you get to the closure area, it really doesn't matter if you've last used a black track or the brown track, it's all gonna blend together. I'm gonna do the same thing with that one. Blow dry, blow dry, blow dry. Now this is how your wig should look before you do any cutting to it. I will show cutting in the next step. Now once you remove your dome cap, this is what your wig should look like. There is minimum amount of glue, which is good. And I'm gonna place my wig on my wig block for cutting. And here's when I use my clippers with the number three guard just to take the bulkiness out of the back and the sides of the hair. And basically all I'm doing is going from the top of the head to the nape of the neck and just repeating this from the back and the sides. Now I like to use my wig block for this particular part because it's easier for me to go ahead and cut the parts that I cannot see. 
anything in the front I can use my razors or my shears to clean that up once I dry the wig back on. Now a tip for getting sideburns around your ear if you like just to slant the tracks when you get to the top of the ear as if you're already shaping your sideburns. And just remember the longer the track, the longer the sideburn, the shorter the track, the shorter the sideburn. Now once you're finished with your cutting on your wig block, this is what your hair should look like. As you can see, all of the bulkiness is gone and the hair is more blended than before. All right, you are done. Now the only thing left to do is cut any extra pieces that you feel you need to cut and style this wig. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and follow me. Peace.